Hey everybody, we're back. We decided to do some dummy work here. All right, a little transitioning. So Brock's gonna use his pyramid to sit through from side control to scarf, keeping his underhook on that far side. Then he's gonna switch his legs back, back to his side control, move his arms to get to that hip control and pyramid through to reverse scarf. Keeping his hips back, knee by the hip, hips under the shoulders. All right, very easy. He's just going side to side, back and forth. Sorry about the fingers in the way. Trying to keep them out. Boom, boom. All right, Brock had a little breakthrough when I was showing him side control and knee on belly on him about some of the different warm-ups we do and things. He started doing them without even thinking. It was perfect. Then he suddenly realized, holy shit, I didn't even think about it. It just happened. He started giggling like a little schoolgirl. It was funny. <laughs> kind of like that. All right, side to side, moving those arms, sitting through, and boom. All right, so he's going to pyramid back through to side control for me. Switching his arms back. And this time he's going to pop up into a knee on belly. So his hands go to the ground, knee drives across the stomach. All right, and his outside foot is up. Sorry about the blurriness. Foot's hooked on the hip, not away from the hip. All right, and he's going to pop those hips up and over. His head's up, his butt's down. All right, we're still working on some of the knee flexibility for side control and knee on belly. Really get some good pressure, but he's keeping those hands away. Okay, using the hands on the person instead of on the ground. We did this with a ball yesterday. I think it kind of made sense. That's the reason I wouldn't let him put his hands on the ground for those drills. So he's just popping side to side, side to side, going from a knee on belly, alternating sides, depending which way the guy we're trying to pin is shrimping, trying to roll out of it, push on her knee, whatever it might be. Just switching the legs, working on some of that hip mobility. All right, he hits one more. Now this time he's going to go all the way from knee on belly on his left side, it's a scarf on the other side. Gets his underhook, he switches his feet to make sure he's in a good position. So his right leg is behind, yep, and his knee's under his shoulder. Okay, now he's gonna pyramid back through to scarf. Boom, pop up to knee on belly. You can go hands on the person or your hands on the ground, either way, boom, driving it across, knees up, hands in. As he switches the hips, he's gonna slide through. The idea here being that we miss the knee on belly, but we want to be able to bail out and still end up in a good position. So his feet are up, switched, his left leg is behind his right leg, his left foot's behind his le right foot, there it is. So his hips are nice and tight, his knee under the shoulders, perfect. He pyramids back through, and we're back into a side control. All right, guys, that was the new stuff we added. We got through all of our warm-ups, but Brock here's got to go work, tin and bar, making his money. All right, so he's immediately getting that underhook, just like we just talked about. Okay, we will possibly be back later tonight for some live rolling, depending on what the wife says, since I am not the boss of my life for the past 10 years. All right, thanks a lot. Let us know if you have any questions. Check out our YouTube. Uh, it's Jits Live. All right, we've also got our Twitter account, at Jits Live LAX, or at Jits Live either way. Um, and then post your videos. Post your at replies to at Jits Live. Show us some techniques. Show us some cool stuff we should try. Show us some stuff we need to learn. Show us a cool-ass video. I don't care. Give us an idea. All right? Let us know how we're doing. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. We'll be rolling.